I know I keep saying thank you all for your patience. I mean it. Let's see what pops up this time. Tech challenged. <laughs> okay, y'all are making me feel so much better here. Has anything popped up yet? And there is a delay. It seems like there's about a 10 second delay. Does anybody see anything Halloween related? Please say yes. Please say yes. I've got some good friends here and I, I appreciate y'all being here and I'm so glad to hear it's not just me with the tech. Okay. I have Halloween bags and buckets here on my screen. Can you all tell me if they are there for you? Yes. Hi, Janice and Janice and Dina and Julie. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jen. Phew. Okay. I'm already ahead of where I was the other day when I was trying to record this for you. So let's talk about boo stuff. Um, let's hope I don't screw this up. Let's see. Um, okay. So I'm just going to talk and if y'all are okay, I'm not going to show myself, which is so happy. I'm happy about that. Let's talk about boo buckets and boo baskets and boo bags. I recommend not spending a fortune on doing these. And the reason for that is unless you're going to charge a lot of money for your booing, I don't think it's going to add a lot of extra value to put together a nice big deluxe goodie bag slash bucket. If you do, I highly recommend that be an upsell, more of a deluxe package. And one thing to keep in mind is that not everybody is going to want the goodie basket, the goodie bag, the boo bucket. That may sound strange, right? In normal years, I think that would be an oddball statement to make. However, with the coronavirus, I don't think that it's going to be super oddball to see people not really being comfortable with it. So one thing I recommend doing is asking your customer that's ordering, one, if they'll be comfortable, if the recipient is going to be comfortable receiving a goodie bag, giving them some sort of idea what's in it. And I know that can lead to a headache, but you want to let them know if there's candy in it, how the candy's packaged. They may not be comfortable having candy in it. They may have kids that are under three. If they have kids that are under three, you're really going to need to be careful about putting toys in there or candy that is a choking hazard. And that's something that I learned a really long time ago when one of our neighbors in our neighborhood, um, their little two-year-old choked on a Halloween toy and died. And so I've seen this and, you know, from a company standpoint, you're also, I would not want to get into some of those liabilities and just the actual, how horrible and tragic that would be. So make sure that they want the, the boo bucket, make sure about uh, the children's ages, because I'm assuming this is going to be for kids. Side note, if you're doing the, uh, the adult versions of the boozled, check with your insurance company before you decide to also put any sort of alcohol in their boo bucket. Because my guess is your insurance policy is not going to cover it. And that is a ginormous liability. And please let me know if you, if you do find yours does cover it. Because I would be really surprised without having some sort of liquor permit if you could actually do that legally. And heaven forbid something happens. Okay, so with that in mind, um, we are on the Oriental Trading website, and I've used this place uh, for years. They're not always the cheapest. However, from a big picture standpoint, they have some pretty good things, and they're easy to shop at. So when I talk about Oriental Trading, I also want you to check out your local dollar store. I happen to have a bunch of Dollar Trees here I don't know what you have in your area. Do you all have 
dollar stores, like not just discount dollar, but actual everything's a dollar. I'm hoping you do. You might have a dollar general or, you know, any sort of discount store. Walmart also has some inexpensive items. The Target dollar section, there's um, you can even find some some good things at Party City. So there's different places you can find really great deals. Uh, Big Lots. Big Lots is another one. Um, if you know of some places that have really inexpensive novelty items, I want you to comment with those so that we see where yours are, your suggestions. So with that, I'm still picking Oriental Trading to give you some ideas. So you, you just know you can go over to any of these stores to look at it. And I've actually, being the nerd that I am, let's see if this will work. I'm going to click on a button here. Let's see if this shows up. I've created an Excel slash Google sheet. And whenever you're deciding what you want to put in your boo bucket. Okay, it's not switching over yet. Well, okay, I created a <laughs> an Excel spreadsheet, actually a Google sheet that has your boo bucket ideas. It's got the name, the price, the quantity, and your price per unit. And what you'll do there is you'll put all your things together, price them out, and then decide, you know, you'll tally up what you like. Let's see. Hold on one second. I am going to go back. I've got to stop sharing the screen. This is great. Tech is just great. Where's Crystal when I need her? Okay. Let's see. Am I back by any chance? Gotta just love this. Okay. Hold on. I have more pet more messages popping up from lovely people. Um, okay. So with that, with the with the Google Sheet, like I just said, and I'm sorry I can't seem to show that to you. I'm gonna try again real quick, but it's got the item name, the price, the quantity. What you do there is you take the price and you divide it by the quantity and you'll get your per unit price. And you want to make sure you know that before you go off and spend $15 on a boo bucket and you're only charging $30 for the rental because that's just not that great. I don't recommend doing that. So I'm going to try sharing the screen one more time. Let's hope it works again. There we go. Oh, heck yeah, I think I found it. Ha. Okay. Let's see if it shows up. Here we go. Okay, that's really little, isn't it? Well, let's see. Okay. Did that work at all, y'all? Is it big yet? I hope so. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here are some things that I picked from Oriental Trading just as an idea of some things that I think would be great options. And I want to show you the spreadsheet just so you see how I did it. It's got the name, the price, the quantity, and the price per unit. Now, since all of these are from Oriental Trading, what I also did is I put the SKU on it just in case you or I wanted to go back and reference it. No, this isn't pretty or anything, so forgive me for not making it all nice and pretty. And then let's see, I want to go over some of those with you. So hold on one second. We're going to come back. Okay, good. Thank you, Karen, for letting me know that was the whole screen because I'm going to do it again. I appreciate y'all being with me with all of this tech stuff because, man, this is not the thing I'm so good at. I just want to be able to show up and show you all stuff. But what's amazing is we have the technology to do this instead of all having to be together or just kind of talk about it without video. So I'm going back over to Oriental Trading and I just showed you the Halloween container just because that's what I typed in. What I'm going to do is go over to my cart. Okay. All right. You got to hold on a second because my computer is just ridiculous. And this 
there's something about oriental trading that I keep getting these errors on. So hopefully that's going to show up now. Give me one second. And it's loading. So one more second. Did it show up yet, y'all? Okay. The shopping cart should be showing up in just a second. Okay. So I can't show the boo bucket also, I don't think, the, uh, the spreadsheet. But I want to go over that for a little bit. Some of the items that are in my cart include glow items. But I'll tell you all that historically anything glow is more expensive. But I think it's really important to do considering, one, everybody loves the glow. And two, if they actually wait until they go out in the dark, it's really important to have. But the other things I have in there that I'm going to show you are little mini slinkies. I call them, I guess they're called magic springs, little mini Halloween stampers, rubber balls, little porcupine bendables. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Um, a couple of goodie bag options. And then if you wanted to do something a little bit more expensive, we've got a cute little Halloween plush. And then something I really think is cool is a color your own pumpkin paddle ball. Say that three times fast. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and show you some of the things I put in my cart just so it will be easy to access for you. We've got a couple of different glow options here. You've got, this one seems expensive, but you've got a bunch of items in it. You've got, let's see, that one has 123 items. Now with that, don't get super excited and think every single thing's going to work, first of all. This is all low quality stuff. I want you to just be prepared. Not 100% of the items you buy are going to be perfect. So always make sure that you pad in accordingly for that. And I would just guess that you're not going to have 123 perfect items in this. But this is a great kit. This has, let's see, you've got your bracelets, necklaces, glow sticks, wand assortment. So those are some great things right there. I don't know if you can read that. So I think that that might be a really good assortment to get depending on what is your, here's my question. I want you to answer this. What is your goal on how many boos you would like to do during, during October? Because once you set that goal and yeah, I know it's like, well, it's whatever comes in. Well, no, that's not a goal. A goal is I'm going to do 25 boobs between October 1st and October 30th. And yes, I did say October 30th because if you haven't been around me, you'll hear me say I do not suggest having your stuff out on Halloween night. This year, it's also on a Saturday and it's the coronavirus year. So I say that as far as vandalism and things getting taken. But anyway, so think about What's your ideal number? What's your goal? And even if you're not really sure, add some something in the comments. Is it 10? Is it 20? How many do you think would be a good number that if you hit it, you would be thrilled? Because once you have that goal, you can figure out how many boo buckets you'll need to put together. Because if you buy a huge, you know, 123 piece glow set and you think you'll do five boos, yeah, oh, that's not the best way to spend your money, right? Okay, so I do recommend some glow, but this one's like a lot more affordable. You've got this one. And here's the thing. I know at my Dollar Tree, there's a lot of glow stuff. And there is at Walmart and, of course, Party City. So price that out. This one is uh, 75 pieces. But again, you've got to look at remembering that you're not going to really have everything working. I don't know if y'all are able to see that or not. If you are, let me know. Okay. So what I do then, and I already showed you my little spreadsheet, is I go through and I tally up the $23.99. Let's see. Let's find one of these. Let me go to a couple of other items, and then we'll price some stuff out. I think these stampers are really, everybody seems to like the little stampers and they're inexpensive. If you look at 50 items at $13.09, I did have this all priced out, but now I can't get back to the spreadsheet. $13.09 divided by 50. So those are 26 cents each. 
And those are pretty great. And what I do recommend on something like this, I mean, this is me just going a little overboard is I check them. I make sure they work because my kids would be so disappointed whenever they would get something and it wouldn't work. And these are safe. Um, I don't know if these are under three safe. Let's see. Okay, so here we go. Warning choking hazard. Can you all see that? Let me see. I'm going to wait for my screen to catch up. There is about a 10 second delay. Okay, so do y'all see at the bottom there where it says warning choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years old. That's something to keep in mind. And what you can do, and it's not the funnest thing to do, is have a little bit of a different goodie bag for them if they've got little ones. And with those, look for, that's when you can get packaged goldfish and things like that, that you can find out exactly what are the safe things for the little toddlers. That's what I used to do. I used to do goodie bags for years and years with my kids' rentals. So then we've got the little springs. Let's see if those pop up. So if you've got $4.39 divided by 12, so those are 37 cents each. So I want you to be thinking about the price on those and how many you would need. If you think you'll do more than 12 booze, you would need two of those. So let's say that's 24. And let's say something doesn't work. So let's say you get 20 out of that. Do you think you'll do 20 booze? Okay, next up, I'm probably hitting y'all over the head with my points here. Let's see. I had a couple of other items real quick. We've got these really cute porcupine bendables. Hopefully this will show up in a second. <laughs> with these, you've got, these are about 50 cents each. They're $12.58 for 24 pieces. Puts them at 52 cents each. And I'm going to guess, okay, look, guess what? These do not have the, uh, the warning for under three. So these would be a winner for the toddlers as well. So those are 52 cents. So if you add on a couple of those other items we just talked about, you're going to be at about $1.20, I think. Now, I personally like the little, these have been around for forever, these little mini Halloween character paratroopers. Maybe it's because I have boys, but I love them even as a kid. And so, and, and I'll warn you, on these, you definitely are not going to get 100% of them that work. And it's hard to test them. But what you get with these is you get four dozen. So let's say you've got 1529 divided by four dozen. Those are 32 cents each. And they're a really good thing. And let's see. Okay. These are also a, a choking hazard. So you would not want to put those in a boo bucket with anybody under three. And, you know, you may want to just stick with stuff that's, that's safe for everybody. I think you're really going to limit yourself and you might not need to. Let's see. Okay. And here's one of the, um, what I call a splurge items. If you really wanted to do something a little bit bigger, let's see if this catches up with me. It's the Halloween plush and there's different ones, but these are a great example. They're $18.59 for a dozen and that puts them at $1.55 each. Now, that's a bit more expensive when you start adding in the other. You probably have about $1.75 if you were to pick some of the other items I just showed you. And so you'd want to, if you do, let's say, a $5 basket. I keep saying basket, bucket, a boo bucket that's about $5 your cost. And if you wanted to charge maybe for the deluxe one, that included the cute little plush item. Okay, so I am hoping, let's see what else I have in there. I'm going to go back over to my spreadsheet and you're not going to be able to see it, but give me one second and I want to show you one more thing real quick. Are y'all sticking with me? Is anybody still around? Everybody's being all quiet and I'm talking to myself. 
Okay, we are going to look at something I think is really cool. And well, let's see, here we go. It's the Color Your Own Pumpkin Paddle Ball. And I have done paddle balls between class parties and for my local rental business because I did used to do goodie bags for the kids as part of the rentals. And these are really fun. I think you get a dozen. So with, yes, it's a dozen. Um, these definitely have a choking hazard. So they would not be for anybody under three, which is understandable. Let's see, $5 divided by 12. These are 42 cents each. And it also gives somebody a nice little activity. So that's something that I think would be extra fun. And what I really like is because you're doing all the booing before Halloween is they get to enjoy the stuff. It's not just getting it on Halloween night and, you know, getting to enjoy the season like that, I think is really a good thing. I'm going to check my list real quick. One more second. We're almost done. We've got a couple more things I'm going to show you. I don't want to keep you all very long on this Sunday. Is anybody finding this stuff helpful at all? Let's see. Okay, this was another one that I thought was kind of fun. And this might be for, you know, eight and up. I don't know. When you start looking at skeletons, it all depends on your customers and what they're comfortable with. So these are, I think, a dozen. These do not say that there's a choking hazard. So they're one more thing that's safe. So these are about a dollar each, 11.68 divided by 12, yeah, 97 cents. So we're going to say a buck. So anything that's a plush is going to be a little bit more expensive, but could be definitely worth it. Now let's look at this one. This one's a deluxe plush, as I like to call it. Look at this guy. He's adorable. He's five inches. Let's see here, five inches. So he's, do we have a dozen of them, I think? Yeah, so he's $1.55 each, but he would be great for a nice big deluxe bucket. Now with that, um, we're gonna go back to my cart. I'll show you a couple of the containers. I'm scrolling, so give me one second. Okay, so you're going to laugh. The container I put in here is not showing up. But do you all know that what I'll call the stereotypical tradition Halloween bucket? It's the jack-o'-lantern. I'm hoping you do. Now, this is a mini version. Be careful with mini versions because they're so tiny that you're not going to get much of anything in them. But it's just like this guy, but it's bigger. So it's going to depend. Oh, and see, this one's already out of stock. So you've got to be careful and get your order prepared quickly to make sure that you can get the items. But I think the bigger ones are cool. Now, granted, they do take more to stuff. But what you can do on that, if you only have, if you have too much stuff to put in a mini container, and let's see, these are two inches in diameter. And I want you to just look down at something that you've got in front of you and look at how little two inches is. And if you really wanted to do something mini, mini like this, go for it. I think it would be great. And it's just a tiny little something. And if anybody doesn't know, I've got a free Boo printable card and you're going to want to leave some sort of card, whether you're leaving the Boo bucket or not, so that people know what to do, what happens with it. And hopefully they will call you to pay it forward and Boo somebody else. And so even if you did an itty bitty mini bucket like this, you can still, you can bend the card and you can still put it in the bucket. So hopefully that's that's like one of the most traditional things you can do, right? Okay, 
Um, I have this bucket in my cart, but quite frankly, I mean, he's cool and everything, but I know how big that bucket is and it's big. And I don't think you should pay more than a dollar for a bucket. And I think even that, you know, it just depends on how much stuff you want to put in. So I'm going to go back up. Yeah, Janice, exactly. You've got to watch your sizing. The pricing might look great, but look at the size for each item. I have learned that so many times with, with my kids. And because I used to do all the goodie bags for all of the kid rentals. Oh, Dana, they've got them in several colors at the Dollar Tree. Okay, good. I'm glad to know that. And how much fun would that be? I think those are just what you can do if, um, if you don't have a ton of stuff to put in one of the traditional ones. Put some tissue paper in it, you know, like that's what we do with gift bags, right? We use tissue paper. Speaking of, that's what I'm going to show you next, which I think are great. It's just a regular paper craft bag. Now, these are obviously for Halloween. You can get these. I don't know about at your Dollar Tree, but at my Dollar Tree, I can get some of these about 50 cents a bag and they come to for a dollar. These are adorable. And what's nice about it, if you're going to do most of your shopping at Oriental Trading, it's worth the extra 50 cents or a dollar just to get the order all done together and not have to spend your time to go out shopping elsewhere. These are your typical size, but whenever you're looking at that, I want you to take out, and I, have, I wish I could show this to you on screen. I have my tape measure in front of me. And I'll even go get some of my other bags and just see, okay, what size bag is that? Because you don't need a giant one. If you're doing that deluxe, just size your, your bags accordingly and appropriately. And if anybody's doing balloons, then of course you all already have your act together. Margaret and Jen, <laughs> I'm talking to y'all. If you all have any recommendations on anything to do with balloons, we would absolutely love to hear it. I don't think that the Dollar Tree will be doing balloons for Halloween. And, you know, I know it ebbs and flows as far as helium shortages. So who knows this year, but I know you all are the experts. Okay. There's that kind of bag. We've got the pail. If you want to do something really small, I'm using this, this one as an example. And I'll tell you why. No, it's not Halloween, but guess what it is? It's versatile. So if you've got bags left, you can use them for something else. And quite frankly, you know, I have, oh, I don't even know how many bags that are left over from all the different holiday seasons, because as you can probably imagine, I've been rather into this for all these years. So I also like having a versatile one. And this could even be a backup bag for you. If, you know, you're like, well, I don't know how many I'm going to have. And you could buy some that are Halloween themed. And then you could buy just these as a backup. But I, I definitely like these. These are great for a very small bag that you want to leave at the door. This could be literally just some of the parachute guys um, one of the slinkies, the porcupine, you can get a nice amount in there and just be careful with the ribbon and make sure that you have it tied right so that stuff doesn't come out. These are plastic. And so what's great about those is that hopefully your stuff doesn't get wet, but it's going to be a little bit better in the elements. Let's see. I was looking for some other bags for you. So you've got these Typical, again, these are just the small cellophane, the cello bags. Those are really cute. I have not checked the Dollar Tree this season, but in every other season, they always have some of these same cellophane bags. Now, this is actually a better price, I think. But regardless, if I'm making an order with Oriental Trading and this is the only thing I was thinking of getting at the Dollar Tree, you better bet I'm just going to order them here because it's a time saver. What do I think about the pumpkin decorating kits? I think those could be really cool. I think you just have to look at your market and how much you want to charge because I wouldn't want to go do that if I were doing a $30 rental. But I think it could be really cool to have as an upsell. 
And I'm all about having a couple of different price points. You can have your basic price point and then have that deluxe one because no, you know, you know your market better than I do. I know around me, they like to one up each other. And that's just, it's just what it is. It keeps me in business, right? Okay. One other inexpensive little thing. And then we're going to be done or we're almost done. I should say I have, I actually have a surprise for you. Almost forgot about that. Um, these little uh, Halloween rocket flyers. Oh my gosh, my kids. And I know I have boys, boys and girls alike like these. They're really fun. You can flick them. Um, and they are safe for children under three. Let's see. You get a dozen of these. So these are about 52 cents each. And so let's see. All right. We've got that. And then let me stop sharing my screen hypothetically. All right. Is there, okay, hold on real quick before I do that. Is there anything else you want me to look up at Oriental Trading for you? I'm going to look down at the comments real quick. Before I get off the site. All right, here we go. I'm actually just going to show you their Halloween landing page real quick just to show you some of the other things they have. One of my inspirations when I look at this, let's see here. One, they've got the boo baskets and other examples, but the trunk or treat and then the low contact trick or treating. So if you go through some of these, you know, who would have ever thought we would use low contact or no contact as a marketing idea? It's just crazy, isn't it? Okay, so with that, they've got, you can look through here, y'all. I don't want to keep you too much longer. We're going to look at the boo baskets real quick. But I, I just saw a little candy corn already prepackaged in individual uh, bags. But you've got to make that own determination yourself as far as what kind of candy you would want to do. Shoot, I don't know if their candy's cheaper here or not. I think candy's expensive. Um, if you're going to do candy, just be careful about the chokeable stuff. And I know I've bought it at the dollar store a lot. So you can see here some of the other bag examples. You may or may not need the curling ribbon. I don't know that that's a great deal on it. But see okay so does that give you all some sort of idea like these are really cute these would be adorable if it's going to be just a tiny little order don't spend a lot of money on this this is about what i'll call the just because the thought that counts so these are super cute and those are going to be about 55 to 60 cents each if i do my math we're going to add those to the cart because i really like this i might end up buying those Okay. And then one more thing. Yeah, your kids love those. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that, Dina. I think that would be a great idea. Let's see. Pumpkin decorating kit. Hold on. Okay, are these the kind of things you're thinking of? Like the small face craft kits? My boys, you know, I'm not as familiar with it. But look over here for $20, you can get this and it makes 50. And then this one makes 12. This looks really great. So I think that's a great idea, Margaret. Thank you for suggesting that. These are adorable. Okay, I think I'm going to have to do these. And the fact that I am not planning on doing booing as a big push, it's not going to be a big campaign for me. I think I'm just going to do a few of them. So which one of these do you all like? Do you like the funny faces? The scarecrows maybe? Oh, these are great. What do you think is great? Emoji pumpkins. Okay. 
We've got some great ones here. Brilliant idea, Margaret. Okay, I think I'm going to add these to my cart. And then I'm just going to ask, let's see, let's look. I'm, I'm adding this. I love it. I add this to the cart without really real. Okay, so it's self-adhesive self -adhesive foam pieces. Perfect. Okay, and so I'm guessing that they come. Let's see here. I love how I just added something to my cart without really looking at it. Oh, this is perfect. And then I'm going to guess they all come in a little bitty plastic bag. This is awesome. Oh, so glad you said that, Margaret. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I am not. I'm going to stop looking up that stuff now. And does anybody want to give away? Do we have anybody still here? If you want to give away, say giveaway, please. Yes, Margaret, thank you so much. I just, I'm so glad you said that. And, you know, with my boys being older, this was something we, I used to make the vinyl to decorate our pumpkins, but my husband's really good at the physical carving of them. And so then, you know, we haven't really done that. And now my boys are bigger. So there we go. I see lots of loves. Okay. Now I want to see in the comments. If you want a giveaway, put giveaway. <laughs> Dina, how did I know you were going to be there? I love it. Okay. I'm actually going to take a sip of water real quick because can I just tell you, oh, it's, I'm talking a lot. And I don't have anybody that's talking back. So I got to, I got to rely on you all for, for my, my comments. Okay. We're going to do a, a giveaway and let me tell you how we're going to do it. First of all, let me tell you real quick. Am I still, okay, I'm still on screen share. So hopefully I don't make you dizzy. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Can you see this? Hold on. It's up there. What do you all see? Hi, Lori. Yay. Hi, Shannon. Okay. Y'all tell me in the comments what you see right now. and What do you think the giveaway is? I'm waiting for somebody to tell me. Gotta love this. I'm putting y'all on the spot, but I'm hoping you can tell what it is and then we will see if anybody's interested. Yes, Shannon. Thank you very much, Margaret. It's a, an Oriental trading gift card. And I had to pick that picture because, well, you know why I had to pick it. <laughs> Andrea, it's an actually it's an Oriental gift card, Oriental trading gift card, but their logo, their mascot is one of my favorite flamingos. So let me show this. Let's see. I don't know. I can't seem to uh, enlarge anything, but I don't know if you can see. Hold on. Up here. Let's see if my cursor will show you. Oh, gosh. It's catching up with me. Do y'all see that yet? Dina, are you able to see that? I hope so. So I am giving away a $20 Oriental Trading gift card. Lori, I'm glad you like that. I'm really glad. And it's going to be really simple to enter the giveaway. Hold on one second. I've got to stop sharing my screen for just a minute. So hang on. Okay. Let's see if I'm back. 
Oh, Dina, you are so sweet. Well, you know how much I love you and so many other of my wonderful friends here. So, okay, you can see me or I can see myself. Ooh, I much prefer to share my screen. I should do that more often. I want to tell you how to enter for the giveaway. And I've never done a giveaway, but I've had this planned for weeks. And I wanted to see if there was going to be any interest. And well, over the past two weeks, I've seen a number of people show interest in booing. So I decided, okay, let's do it. I was already going to do oriental trading, which is what's funny because there's a lot of other good things, but it's perfect for Halloween. Here's what you're going to need to do. It's, I swear I laugh because I'm like, really, this is not even hard. I'm not even asking y'all to really do much of anything. I have a new Facebook page that's for the business and I'm going to try to show it to you. Hold on one second. I don't think that popped up yet. Hold on. And what I'm going to ask you to do is go over and like the page. There we go. Maybe. Ha. Okay, so I can't quite get to it. You're going to laugh. So I'm going to put it in the comments. Let's see. Let me do it real quick. Hold on. It's facebook.com slash yard card business network. Let's hope I spelled that right. Okay. Somebody tell me if that link works. Karen, thank you for telling me I was back. You've been very helpful. So what I'm looking for is for somebody, for you all to go like that business page. And let's see here. On that page, let's see here. Up at the top, there's going to be a link. Okay, it works, Dina. Thank you. Up at the very top of that Facebook page, I pinned what the membership is about. What exactly is the Yard Card Business Network? In there, there is a link to the website. Will you please click through there and literally read over it? And I am i shouldn't go through here so fast. I have a welcome video right here. I'm not going to play it for you right here. That would torture me at least. And then I talk about the benefits, which some of my wonderful members are here. Thank you all so, so much. I appreciate you all signing up and joining the network before even seeing what you were going to get. But we've got monthly meetups. We've got master classes, which are specialized trainings. We just did social media marketing. We just did a Canva training. We've done several Facebook ads and we have a QuickBooks advisor and she's actually offering a special program that's just for yard card business owners where she will do full service bookkeeping for you. And it's a really low rate and you won't find this. I, I told her, I said there, no, that's not even worth your time to do it that low. And she said, nope, I'm doing it at this rate anyway. But she's also around just in general to answer questions for us right now. We've got founding member status for anybody that joins. And that may not seem like a big deal right now, but as we grow, you all know you can only be founding members once. And I've been in the business for 21 years. So with that, I do think that we are going to be setting ourselves apart from everybody else. Right now, there's so much noise in the industry. And I think we've got to just put, you know, put our heads down, stay in our own lane and just become a distinction between everybody else and what they're doing and just do our thing, what we need to do. Um, train, uh, Margaret, yes, absolutely. Every single training is recorded and then we have, and this will get, this gets to my next point. It's a private member portal. 
And I'm not going to even try to mess the tech up or I would go show it to you. But there's a private member portal. It's an entire resource library. And we've got all the we've got announcements. We've got all the trainings. And we do try to also load up the Facebook lives that we think are relevant. So that's been really great. And in fact, one of the things that I'll show you in a minute is we put together um, like a free Boo printable and it's an editable one that's customized just for your business. And we've got some other templates and cheat sheets and things like that. Um, we also have, and those of you who are already members don't even know this yet, but we've put together some social media posts for you to literally copy and paste or save and go use on your own social media. So we've got like grandparents days coming up as an example. So those are some little perks that we like to give you. Um, I already talked about the printables and templates. There's other little perks that, you know, just stuff that comes up in the future that I don't know what it might be, but whatever it is, I want to do what I can to make sure it's the best for you. And then the icing on top is a refer a friend program. So if you have a friend that's not in our group and they join and they use your name, then guess what? You're going to get either a free month free or cold hard cash. So somebody that signs up, we have, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. We have a three month plan and a six month plan. And I'll show you those in just a second. Right now, and I hope it stays this way, we are the one and only professional organization for our industry. It's been a long time coming. We've tried to have something like this eons ago, but you know, right now is really the time to make this happen. Our businesses have never stood out more and we need a distinction between us and the other guys out there. And there's pop-up companies and then there's those of us who are here to stay and we need to make sure we're the ones standing out. So the two plans here, are the three month plan and the six month plan. And I'll just, I'm gonna scroll down here and show them to you. And it's funny that I came up with just the three month one first and then people said, hey, can we have a six month plan? I'm like, okay, sure. And since then I've had a number of people ask me, can we have an annual plan? And so I'm so honored for those of you who have already jumped on this and put your support in me. So the three month plan, we already talked about all of the great things you're going to get. It's basically $20 a month. It's $19.99 a month on average. We do have you pay the first three months up front and that way you are good to go. There's nothing to think about for that three months. And then you can just click here. Oh, shoot. Well, guess what? I'm going to show you that. <laughs> well, here you go. I'm going to show you that. We don't have this completely updated the here's the part where you sign up you sign up with your email address you hit submit you create a password you confirm your password you put your name you put your business name and your website if you have referred a friend to us this is where they put your name right here the one thing that you'll see is that i have to fill out each of these columns before the next one will open up so that's the reason you see the little red circle so then you just simply put in your credit card, your credit card number, the expiration date and the little four digit code on the back. Now, full disclosure at the very bottom, we've had a number of people that have wanted to join the QuickBooks program. And so we added it on as an optional purchase at the end, because then all you have to do, and I'm sorry, I can't show it to you because I didn't populate all the fields, but you'll be able to click the box here and you'll be able to add on the QuickBooks stuff. And if you don't add it on here, it's OK. I have we have a different link where you can sign up in the future. So that's no problem at all. OK, I actually didn't mean to get out of that. That's kind of funny. And then, of course, as you can imagine, the six month program has all of the same benefits, except it's cheaper. So it averages fourteen ninety nine a month. So you get a, a I laugh because I wasn't supposed to make it this low and I was told do not do this by my business mentor. They were like, you know, I, I'm in a mastermind and they were like, you know, that's such a huge price difference. I said, I know, but I really want to do this because if you all entrust me this much when we are just starting out, 
I want to just use it as a thank you. And what I'm also doing is this is your lifetime price. Once you lock it in, this is your price as long as you stay a member. And then last but not least, we're going to have, or we do have an annual plan. I just don't have that payment page set up yet, but it'll be 169, which is going to average $14 a month. So I already showed you that. And then next up, if you have not seen our really cute Boo printable, you can just go to the very bottom of the page here. You'll click on download here. And then you can sign up here for the freebie. Name, email, business name, boom. You're going to click. You know what? I'm just going to do it and show it to you. Hold on. Let's see. Let's going to be Petunia the Flamingo. I'm going to use my other email address. Navy Aggie Mom at gmail.com. I have a United States Navy sailor and a Texas A&M Aggie. The Flamingo Fun Factory. I'm making that up. Okay. Then I click get my boo freebie. I hope this is showing up for y'all. I really have no idea. I'm going to look back and wait for this to catch up. Get a drink of water. Okay, I don't think my other screen popped up. Well, it showed up for me, but it didn't show up for you. So once I clicked on that, I'll just tell you this since it wouldn't open up. Oh, I see what I did. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming back. I love it. I'm emailing myself apparently. Hold on. Yeah, I know, Dina. Hold on. I got to. There I am. I got to do this. I'm sorry I'm not so good with my technology. But this is an improvement. Okay, I didn't get to show you. I didn't get to show you the actual sign up page, but basically. Let's see. Let me try. Let's see if this shows up. I just backtracked. This is the thank you for signing up page. Let's see if it'll backtrack for us for a second. There we go. So you'll put in all of that. Pretty simple. And let's see if it lets me fast forward. Here we go. So then we go on to the thank you for signing up page. And then all you need to do is click down here to download. And then what I have is our amazing intern Crystal put together a how to edit your boo card, which is so great. So here's also another opportunity to read about the business network. This also, and all of you are parts of, of course, you're members of our Facebook community, but for anybody that we invite to come here, that's not in our community, we have that link. And if you are on, obviously you're on Facebook, please, please go follow me on our new business page. But then also if you're on Instagram, will you do me a favor and go over to Instagram? And that hashtag is yard card biz. Pretty simple there. And then, oh my gosh, if I didn't have to go and launch a YouTube channel, y'all that know me know how hard that is for me to do. But it was really hard to get information and videos out there to the public since we weren't getting everybody and wanting really didn't want everybody in the Facebook group until we got to know them and make sure that, you know, they're legit versus people that come in to spam us. And then when you do this, you can go over here to actually it's on the YouTube channel is how to customize your boot card. I'll let you if you're interested when you sign up, you can go down here to the YouTube channel and you can look that up. All right, I'm going to stop sharing my screen again. Hypothetically. Okay, am I back? 
I've taken up an hour of your time and I just want to thank you for being here. I know I didn't expect to go this long. I ended up showing you more than I expected to. So I'm sorry about that, but that's what you need to do to enter the drawing for the giveaway. And then I'm not going to pick the winner quite yet. We're going to let people have a chance. It's Sunday afternoon. I want people to have a chance to watch and then go into our group, into the Facebook group and make a post that said, that you liked the business page and that you went over and saw the website and better yet, if you got the boo printable, I would love to know that too. It's just kind of fun to get to know that. And then once I'm able to see all that, I'm going to put everybody together and then do a random drawing between those wonderful people. And for those of you who are already paid members, I have another special giveaway for you coming. So hang tight for y'all. I promise we'll do something fun for you all. And if you would like to join us in the business network, I really hope you'll consider it. And you saw where to go to on the website to go join because we just have, it's, it's a great thing. And we have a lot of more, a lot more trainings to come and it's great to start getting together and have a professional organization for our industry and for your business. So, let me know if you've got questions about that. And I want to know what you pick from Oriental Trading if you decide to go there and post it in the group. I want to see your shopping cart. I want to see the what you get. And so we can compare notes. And if there's anything on mine you're interested in seeing, pop it in the group, tag me, and then I will share those links with you if you'd like. And I can even share the Google Sheet if you're interested in that as well. So Thank you all again. Oh, Shannon, you got the printable the other day. I am so glad. Good, good, good. Um, I don't know if you're in the in the paid group or not yet, but we actually have some additional Boo printables that are rolling out over there. Spoiler, spoiler alert for those of you who are already my, my paid members, plus the social media campaign that we're going to be doing with Armando. If you were on another Facebook Live the other day with him, we're going to be rolling out a boo campaign to do as a training and as a case study to work with Facebook ads. So that should be kind of interesting too. So anyway, okay. Thank you all everybody for spending your hour with me on a Sunday. And I really appreciate your support. This means so much to me that you are here because there's a lot of noise out there and people were pulling us all in different directions. So Shannon, I'm so glad you liked it and definitely do check it out and you know where I am if you've got any questions. And Margaret, don't forget, you know where I am too. I promise. I know you work during the day. A lot of people do. We've got all the trainings available for replay. And the reason that we have a lot of the trainings during the day is when I bring in a guest expert, I tell them I'm at their disposal to work. One lady was in Australia. And so the only time she had available you know, was 6 p.m. the other night. So that worked for some people, didn't work for most people. So we just kind of roll with it, do what we can, but everything's always available for replay. So anyway, everybody have a great day. Thank you again. And I can't wait to see who all enters for the giveaway. This is my very first giveaway, one of many to come. And, you know, you the paid members, y'all are going to just, we're going to have a lot of fun over there. So Everybody enjoy it and let's go shopping and get ready for boot season. Have a great day, everybody. Cheers.